The amount of room you need to safely bring your vehicle to a stop is directly tied to how fast you're going when you need to stop. The complete process of stopping a commercial motor vehicle, or CMV, can be broken into four separate actions. Perception of the need to stop. Reaction, or taking physical action to stop your vehicle. Brake activation, or the time needed for all of your vehicle's brakes to engage. And deceleration, or the process of your vehicle slowing to a complete stop. At first glance, it might seem like these actions all occur at the same time, and don't have a real impact on your stopping time. But a closer look reveals how each action stacks up. It typically takes around 1.75 seconds for an alert driver to perceive the need to stop. The driver's reaction takes another 0.75 to 1 second. The brake activation time takes another 0.5 to 0.75 seconds. Altogether, the times add up to between 3 and 3.5 seconds before the vehicle actually begins to stop. That might not sound like much, but at 55 miles per hour, you're moving at more than 80 feet per second. In the time it takes you to perceive the necessary stop, you've advanced approximately 142 feet. Your reaction time covers another 80 feet before you begin to engage your brake. Because your brakes need time to activate, your vehicle continues another 60 feet before deceleration begins. The distance traveled before your vehicle begins to slow down totals 280 feet. Once the brake fully activates, your vehicle requires an additional 200 feet to decelerate to a stop. The combined stopping distance is approximately 480 feet, extending from the point of perception to a complete stop. This is the equivalent to the distance of roughly one and a half football fields. An excessive traveling speed, such as 75 miles per hour, will result in stopping distances equal or greater than two football fields. Speed management is especially vital when conditions are less than ideal, inclement weather, heavy, unconventional, or difficult loads, and challenging road features affect your ability to stay in control and safely stop your vehicle. Inclement weather increases your stopping distance and the difficulty of staying in control. On wet roads, large trucks require greater distance to safely come to a complete stop. This is especially true during precipitation following long periods of dry weather, when accumulated oil on the road combines with moisture to create dangerously slick road conditions. On these slick roads, your vehicle will likely pass the full length of two football fields while you perceive, react, and complete a full stop. Every CMV driver should be putting safety first at all times, but it isn't always easy in inclement weather. No matter how bad the roads may get, loads still need to be delivered, and drivers still need to follow hours of service rules. Ultimately, it's up to you to judge whether present road conditions put you, your load, or other motorists in danger. However, keep in mind that the FMCSA recommends reducing your speeds in inclement weather by up to a third in heavy rain and up to by half in snow or on icy roads. 
Remember that in any inclement weather, the best strategy for maintaining total control of your vehicle is to reduce speed and proceed with extreme caution. Or, if conditions are sufficiently dangerous, to stop driving and find a safe place to wait until the road improves. As a CMV driver, you must constantly evaluate your road conditions and adjust your speed to accommodate a safe stop. But a slippery road is not the only weather hazard that will affect your ability to stop in time. In foggy or stormy conditions, visibility and your ability to perceive danger ahead of you is limited. In some low visibility conditions, including nighttime hours, your headlights will illuminate the road directly ahead but they may not reach as far ahead as your required stopping distance at higher speeds. In these conditions, how much you reduce your speed should depend on how far ahead you're able to clearly see. Reduce your speed to assure that your stopping distance does not exceed the range of your headlights.